Hi there, this is Andrew Voigt with Component Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to import your Google Docs into a data set. I already have a blank data set set up for this example. Once you have your data set created, you're going to need a Google spreadsheet. Complete the spreadsheet with all the information that you're going to want in your data set. There are a couple format requirements that Component Studio requires. The first row of your spreadsheet contains the headers for each column that will appear in your data set. The first one must be set to quantity, all lowercase, and the second one must be set to name, all lowercase. The rest of the headers are up to your discretion depending on your data set's needs. The quantity column must have a number in every row, and the name field must have a unique entry in every row. With your dataset set up to those specifications, you need to publish it to the web as a CSV file, and then you can import it to the dataset. So select File, Publish to the Web. You're going to select Entire Document in the first dropdown, and in the second dropdown, choose Comma Separated Values, .csv. With those two options selected, hit Publish and confirm the prompt. Now Google provides you with a URL. Go ahead and copy that URL and return to your dataset. Near the bottom of the page, you'll see a field, Import from Google Sheets. Paste the URL and select the Import button. Confirm your selection, and if everything was entered correctly on your Google Sheet, Component Studio will populate from the data in that spreadsheet. Now when you make changes, once you update your spreadsheet, return to your dataset and you'll see the URL is saved in the Import from Google Sheets field. So when you select Import, Component Studio will import the data from the updated spreadsheet. And that's all there is to using Google Sheets with Component Studio. It's a fast and simple way to maintain your datasets with the ease and familiarity of a spreadsheet. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions you'd like to see answered in this FAQ series, please leave a comment or send us a message. This is Andrew Voigt with Component Studio, helping you make games to be proud of.